so this is Miss Shalena, and we're going to give her a bath. She currently has the hiccups, which is the bane of our existence, but we'll keep going. So as I mentioned before, we're going to wash her mouth. I'm going to kind of like brush her mouth kind of thing. Wash her mouth. Look how happy she is. The best time, so what you're going to do is you're going to take the soft side and you put your, your pinky in here and then you put this in her mouth. The important thing is to not put your pinky directly in the back of her mouth, put it on the side of her, um, one side of the mouth or the other side of the mouth or at um, the top of her mouth. Otherwise, if you put it directly on her tongue in the back of her mouth, she will choke and be very unhappy. Now the best time to give your baby a bath is probably at least an hour after feeding or um, an hour before feeding. That's because you don't want to give it too close to feeding because they'll either, um, their stomach will be full and you don't want to have them spit up even more if your baby's already spitting up but you don't want to have them spit up too much. Um, if you give, it, give your um, baby a bath too close to their feeding, they might get really hungry and they might have a crying fit. They might be very unhappy. So your baby is going to bite down on your tongue, which is okay. It's pretty awesome to see how strong their jaws are. But just slowly move it around. What, I, what, the, what my goal is, is to clean their tongue especially because um, the milk really stains her tongue. You know, they only drink milk, they don't drink water, so nothing flushes it out. And then you also want to clean their gums. This will be good to get them used to that feeling when you actually brush their teeth, when they actually have teeth. You can see she's a very happy baby. You don't have to overdo it. There's always going to be a little bit. Never, never overdo too much cleaning. Okay, so what I do is I leave her shirt on and I leave her diaper on. And then I bring her over. So now Michelina is ready for her bath. Like I said, we're going to start with her head first. And then her head and her face, well, so we started with her mouth, we're going to wash her face, and then her head, and then we'll do the rest of her body. So I'm going to bring her over here. Remember, this towel is to use to protect her head, so, because she does have the tendency to kick, and as you can see, she can kick my stomach and hit her head up there. So what I do is I take this plastic little bowl, and I just put a little bit amount of water in to dilute it because you don't want the salts and blue directly. And I just put a little bit of salts and blue in here. Now you don't need to do this. You can skip the step if your baby doesn't have um, baby rash or a dry scalp. I mean, her face has cleared up a lot, so you don't have to really use it as much. But it comes, it comes and goes. It hasn't to totally cleared up, so I continue to use it. So what you do is you hold your baby's head. You have to make sure you're holding your baby's neck and you're not, and she's going to kick. Um, so you have to be careful she doesn't hit the silver, the faucet head. So what I do is you have to be careful not to get the salt and blue in your baby's eyes. So what I do is I do her cheeks first and make sure, make sure her head is upright. So if, if there's some water, it doesn't roll up into her eyes. So I do her cheeks first, and I be very careful around her eyes. She might move, and you just want to be careful with that. And then I rinse the towel and then wipe it off. Because you just don't want it to get in her eyes. That's like the main focus. That's the main, main thing. You know what we're doing. Now I'm going to just start with her head. And I really want to set it up because particularly on her. She has dry scalp at the top of her head. You know what we're doing. 
you know what we're doing. Okay, baby. You're okay, Ban Bonnie. Okay. You don't have to overdo it, like I said. Just try to do it as quickly as possible in case they are a little fussy. Usually she does okay. Sometimes she gets fussy, but she's okay. You're okay, Bunny, right? So you get the back of her head. Just make sure that she's supported, that you know she's not gonna kick, kick way back, and stuff like that. Um, okay, so now her head is done. So what I do is I take this soft side and I dry her face, pat her face, which is probably pretty dry. And then I bring her over and I dry her hair. Bring her over and I dry her hair to a little extent, a little bit. And then I'll bring her over to the small table and finish drying her hair. So what I need to do is, I don't want her to bathe in a bath of Seltzer Blue. So what I do is I actually, you know, do um, refill the sink to make another bath. So she can clean in a clean bath, right, Bunny? So I bring her over the towel and you know, talk to your baby, sing to your baby. Just do whatever you need to do. See, you can see she's very happy. So I'm not too worried. So I'm just gonna wipe, like rinse down the sink a little bit, rinse down my towel, and and. Fill up her bath.